crossing to the other side of the sea, Jesus and his disciples came to the land at Genesaret and stayed up there. As they were leaving the boat, people immediately recognized him. They scurried about the surrounding country and began to bring in the sick and mats to wherever they heard he was. Whatever village or towns or countryside he entered, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and, be and beget him, and they might touch only the tassel of his cloak, and as many as touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus has power to destroy death and destroy illness, destroy sins, and destroy everything that is bad for our salvation. And Jesus come to us and reveal to us his, his word and his plan of salvation for the humanity. And in that plan, it's really important, the spiritual healing and physical healing. Not just physical, spiritual and physical healing. In this gospel, the people, just when they touch the cloak of Jesus, the tassel of the cloak, they receive sanation, health, healing in their, heart, in their souls, in their body. How can we touch Jesus? right now in our life in this moment because if they if these people just touch the clock and receive healthy receive the miracles how can touch jesus today if we can touch jesus we receive his love his mercy and he change our soul and change everything that is not good in our life we can change we can touch jesus in the prayer for example when your prayer humility and faith in your prayer you can touch the sacred heart of jesus because jesus knows you jesus knows your suffering your concerns and he wants to give you spiritual and physical healing. When you come to Jesus in the prayer, you can touch him. But the question is, do you believe that? Do you have faith in his presence? That people follow Jesus and they have faith that if they touch his cloak, they receive health, healing, spiritual healing, and physical healing. But now we have faith. Do you have faith in the power of Jesus Christ? That is the point. Other example, when you receive communion, it's not just touch the tassel of the cloak of Jesus, you enter in communion with him, with God. Do you believe in his real presence in the Eucharist? When you come and receive communion, you say to yourself, to yourself, is God, is Jesus, he has power, he can change everything in my life. The point is our faith. We need to increase our faith in Jesus because he is presence. He is presence right now in our world and he is walking around us. We need to open our eyes. We need to open our hearts in order to touch Jesus, in order to find in him our spiritual and physical healing. Let us ask to the Lord that increase our faith in his presence, in our life, because we need him. We need him always and especially in this moment that we live. Jesus is powerful, is God, is our creator, 
is our Savior, and He wants to save us. Let us Him save us and save our loved ones. Let us pray in silence. <clears throat>